Hello, IFMaries here, and like I said before, I'm continuing on with the wording videos. I think today I'll look at top lane, and then tomorrow I'll look at mid lane, and then after that uh, we'll look at jungle and uh, I think trinkets. I was going to do mid lane and jungle kind of uh, during the same video, but I think that would drag on, even though they do ward similar places. Okay, so top lane. Um, we're going to make red. We're going to make purple, blue side. Gonna make red, red side. Hopefully that's not too confusing. Okay, so start off beginning of the game. Beginning of the game, you might be leashing for your jungler. Cool. So you, if you're not leashing for your jungler, you know you're standing in this area. If nothing's really going on there, you might be standing here. If you're blue side, cool. Uh, just like bot lane, you know, look at where their jungler starts. If he's starting red, he's going to be bot side of the map for like the first five minutes of the game unless he does a level 3 gank. Which are things to be aware of if the junglers are prone to do level 3 gank, or uh, level 2 ganks, I mean. We don't see a lot of that anymore since the jungle's been changed. But like, it still can happen. Mm, but yeah, so you're going to come into lane. And then, when you think the jungler is able to be top lane, you ward the tri brush. If they start blue, they're going to go from blue to either wolves or wraiths. After that, they're going to go get their red buff. And from the red buff, they're either uh, buff they're either going into mid lane or they're going into your lane. And what they can do from there is either go through the lane or through the tri brush. So tri brush deals with that. Also, you are able to ward here. This lets you see a little further down this way, Now it still lets you see if they come in from the tri brush. The only problem, uh, problem with this is, well, that's, that's the reaction time deficit, really. The benefit of warding down here in the river is if their jungler comes from red sort of thing and goes in, you'll see it, you'll react accordingly. You might burn your flash or you might just get out or kill them both, whatever. If the jungler stays alive and you're on the losing end of the gank, their jungler, or well, they should, like push it to tower, make you lose a bunch of farm, and then their jungler will run down, or that he might run down this way. So the benefit of this ward is you see if the jungler is running through river. And well, I guess you'll see if he runs back into his jungle. If you don't see this, you can, or like that, or like that, you can assume he's either going like this, recalling, or going clearing his golems. So the river ward will help your mid lane out a little bit more. This tri brush ward gives you as of the top lane or more reaction time. So if you're red side, <clears throat> you're going to either guard red, so like ward there, whatever, right away, or you're going to leash red, you're coming into lane, or like you're standing there for whatever reason. So you're gonna go into lane either like this, like that, or like that. And kind of just like bot lane, uh, you can ward a little deeper, because what their jungler's able to do is start red, go buff, get blue, and then come up like this. Or go through your tri brush and gank from behind. Or you know, like uh, go mid or something like that. So if you ward deep, if you place your ward like right there, maybe a little higher up like that, you'll be able to see if he rotates like this, or if he goes through river like that and rotates mid. So this ward gives you the most reaction time because it doesn't make sense for him, the enemy jungler, to grab blue, circle around the jungle, and go through your tri brush. So it's it's the most effective ward right now uh, at this stage of the game. So like before five minutes is kind of like right there. It'll show you again which way the jungler decides to go. Okay, so let's say one of the towers is taken out. Uh, let's say you lose this tower if you're purple side, or you take this tower if you're blue side. Like I did with the last one, I guess I can do a line of scrimmage. It's the same thing for as as bot lane. So it's kind of like that sort of thing, maybe maybe like that, maybe like that if your mid lane's getting pushed in. But the places that <clears throat> they'll be roaming now that you don't control anymore is pretty much just this brush and then this brush right here. So um, like I said in the general video, you typically get this pink brush and then you can either pink this or just green ward this. And that should control a lot of, or um, not really control, but it'll allow you to see any movement in the entire area here that you don't control anymore. The only thing it won't see is this brush right here. But if you see them run in this way or run in this way again, 
uh, just get your jungler and your mid laner and then you and then run in here, ward this brush with a trinket or whatever, ward this brush with a trinket, uh, ward them as you need them. And then if this is taken, red buff's gone, you know it won't be spawning for another few minutes and Baron isn't up for another few minutes, you don't need to ward this brush. <clears throat> you can just ward here, uh, maybe ward here, ward here, rotate mid and push mid up. If you're pushing mid hard, you know, get the mid laner to ward there, but I'll cover mid next time. Also, if you're top laner and you're pushing like this, you know, maybe you ward right uh, here and ward here. This will view any traffic, you know, any traffic, any rotations. The only thing it's not going to cover is if the enemy top laner on red side pushes it out till about there and then goes through like this. But if you saw them here, you'll just ping like you might be mid, so mid ward. So, you know, play it by ear. So let's see if this tower gets taken out. Uh, again, like it's 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 it might be kind of boring. It's like the same thing as bot lane, but you you won't control your blue buff pretty much. You lose control of your blue buff, and then a little bit going into your jungle like that. Not as much, but like kind of like that. So as blue side, you're gonna want to see where they're able to come from. So again, like you can ward here. You can ward here, you know, to see if they're entering your jungle. You ward your blue buff, and then your mid laner can ward there. That should cover most things in case, like, they push up and then rotate out, or, like, you know, that sort of thing. And just like bot lane, if you're pushing up this way as red side, you take this tower and you're still pushing, ward their blue buff about right there. You don't want to ward in the brush itself because it doesn't show you vision of wolves or, uh, coming in from mid lane like this. So this will this area will still all be cloudy if you ward in the brush. So ward outside the brush, it shows you everything that might be coming. Really good ward. And then you can ward here if your mid lane's pushing. If your mid lane's not pushing, you can ward here. So that's two wards. Um just a tip for top lane, if like whenever you leave base you should have, if you have a room, a green ward, at least one green ward, and one red potion. So the red potion is 150 uh, effective HP in case you get into a skirmish or skirmish and you survive by like 70 HP. The potion saved you. Um, the ward is because you'll have your trinket ward and you always want another ward. Most of these things I'm showing are uh, multiples of two for wards. I understand that you're not going to pick up a sight stone, so chances of you placing three wards at a time as mid or top laner very slim so that's what I'm trying to do for showing two wards so like red side will ward there and there or instead of this ward ward here blue side will ward here and here or if he's not pushing super hard that way ward your blue and like ward here or there so typically ward here because you technically control that as or, uh, as purple side or blue side there there and then maybe there if you're getting pushed in. Okay, so now what happens if we lose the second tier tower here? Surprisingly, it looks a lot like bot lane. So you're gonna lose control of that half of the jungle. So you're gonna wanna use slowly, like get your vision up to the point where you can see and control that half of the jungle. So you know, starting out, if it's pushed up uh, back here and you don't see any of this, this is all grayed out. Or I'll put it as red, like red controls all of that. You're going to want to place a ward here because it's going to grant you, like you're going to push the wave. That will grant you vision to wherever minions are. That's control. You'll control the map to wherever the minions are. You're going to ward here. This will give you control of everywhere up to here. And suddenly you control all of this again. Then what you're going to do is ward your blue buff. And then if you can, ward here. If you can't safely, Ward here. Again, uh, this isn't just like right away, do it in like 10 seconds. This is as you progress, you know, maybe your jungler has an extra ward on him, maybe your mid laner has his trinket up, that sort of thing. Uh, so you'll be able to get at least like two wards down, maybe the third one. But by warding, uh, not that one, but by warding your blue buff, now you control or, you know, have access to safely. You can extend till around here. If you push minions up to about there, you'll control, wrong color, push minions up to here. You'll control, you know, like, all of this again. 
and then it's a little scary to go around this area because you don't have vision of it. If you get the word here, yeah, you'll control wrong color again. If you get the word here, you'll control all of this. If you get the word in, uh, in here, you'll control everything except for I'm gonna get rid of some of those. Except for the area right around the tri brush and the opening here. So then, as you advance, you want to place the word here and place the word here. These two words grant you full control over your jungle again. The only thing it doesn't control is the river. But if you lost these two towers and then maybe you lose this tower, you, you have to concede that. It just it doesn't make sense. You aren't able to secure anything past the river at this point in time because you're so pushed back and behind. You're gonna have to hope for like a dragon to come up and then get a good team fight. But that's that's pretty much how you want to play stuff if you're like pushed back super hard early in top lane. Sometimes that does happen. So now let's look at what happens on the other side of the map. So let's say these two towers get taken out. Okay, so pretty much the same sort of thing. You'll lose most control over this half of the jungle as the red team. So what you're going to want to do is slowly, like at, if, it, if minions are pushed back this uh, till here into your base, you want to push up. As you're pushing up, you want to get a ward here to start to see if they've rotated through your red buff sort of thing or if they're rotating out. This is almost a suicide brush because a lot of people die in there. As you're pushing up, get this warded. Don't face check this, but check this brush. And what you should be trying to do is get the ward around here and get a ward on your tri brush. Now again, this might not happen in like a 30 second span, but it's going to happen over a couple waves of minions. Your point or your goal is to safely push out mid on color, push out mid to about here, because it'll pressure this area and it'll pressure their inner tower if you take the outer. If you haven't taken the outer, you know, maybe push till there, a little bit further behind the river. So, so you still have defense of this brush in case they do come through a uh, tri brush. But you, your goal is to resecure your half of the jungle. So you push out till about there, and then you ward the tri brush. You don't face check it. You, If you have a way of checking the brush without face checking, do that. But you're going to want to get the ward in the tri brush, what that well, secures is if your minions are pushed here, you have control over all of this now. You get the pink ward into this brush, you now control everything here. If your mid tower is still up, you, you fully control this side of the jungle again. If you, this tower is not up, get the ward in here and then you safely control it. So those three wards will allow you to control your red side jungle if your turrets end up falling, but it's not just the wards, you also have to remember to push out your waves. Okay, now let's quickly see what happens if we lose uh, both outers. So, both outers will end up falling if you are doing like rank 5 or something like that. Sometimes you trade the outer tower top lane for a dragon if you're running teleport. They kind of even out to about the same amount of gold, and a really early dragon is not going to be as much gold as a top lane tower, but a, late, a later dragon, so around 12 minutes, 15 minutes sort of thing, will be better or equal to. A, uh, a tower. The only thing you're trading off there is the map control of having this tower up or this tower up because once 15 minutes comes Baron becomes an option and having a tower up here to fall back to becomes a, a pretty good advantage. What you are losing if you keep your tower up and you don't trade the Baron fight or uh, uh, trade it for the dragon, um, you are like where the team that takes dragon wins out over losing the top tower is they're able to get a 5v4 sort of fight or they're able to jump them and maybe get a couple kills which will even out the the um the deficit of losing the tower and will allow them to maybe snowball and get a couple other kills with that and then uh, take the tower anyways so whatever so if these two towers are gone um well, you know, it's it's kind of a stalemate situation. If Dragon's not up, or uh, if Baron's not up, and these buffs aren't up, there's no reason to be taught. If Baron is up, you know, place a pink around there. Just pink somewhere around here as either team, so that there's uh, steady vision that you don't have to keep replacing after, like, three minutes. Or one minute, based on whatever time it is. Or, I guess, whatever level you are. So make sure there is some vision here, but after the towers fall, typically, if there's nothing to grab up here, you're not going to run top just to get golems and white. So you should be mid-ish around there, and then keep the ward on Baron. If you are split pushing top for whatever reason, 
and this tower is gone, you don't have this to fall back to as blue side. It, it works pretty much the same way as if you're pressuring this tower. You're going to ward here, you're going to ward here. What you can do is if, um, if your top laner is bottom, and you can out duel their, or like out trade their jungler, you can push this up, go through, check their red, and place a ward in here. Uh, right there. So you'll have this warded, you'll have this warded. It'll protect you against anything as you're pushing this tower. It won't save you, that's your response and you watching your map, but it'll give you all the information you need. Because if you're pushing here, anything that's running up here, you should be able to tell if they've moved away from mid or something. And if it's only one person, you should be strong enough to outduel them. If not, um, you know, maybe you should, uh, I don't know, maybe you should be with your team sort of thing. Okay, if you're split pushing, you should be a strong duelist. You should be able to duel almost anybody. And now, I think that's about it. If all the towers are gone, I explained how to recontrol your jungle. You know, push the wave till there as purple. Or is there till purple. Push the wave till about there as red side. And then place the wards around to recontrol this side of the jungle. If you're going after Baron, you know, have the pink here as any team. Have a pink behind here. Um, if you're blue side, it's a little more scary, kind of like I was explaining for Dragon uh, in the bottom video, because red side controls this. They control everything behind here, technically. Even if the towers are gone, if you're taking Dragon, or if you're taking Baron, chances are this is all gray for you. So if you're blue side taking Dragon, or a uh, Baron, geez, you know, like ward here, <clears throat> ward here, ward this, maybe even get this ward, or like just ward everything, really. Uh, get the pink in here and then sweep inside the pit. Like this is blue side, I'm using the wrong color, but like sweep inside the pit. And then, you know, run around here, check this brush, check up here, check up there, but this sh this might be visible by the pink. And maybe check there if you can, or like there. But if you're a support or a jungler with mobility, you should be able to check most of them in time. And then if two people have pinks, maybe like place a pink here and here and then sweep this area and run this way as your support sweeps this area and runs like that. So it's just that sort of thing. That'll secure Baron for you. If you are purple side, you know, it is a little easier because they're all choked into this little area and you control all of this. So all you need is maybe have a warden here, have a ward outside, and uh, have this pinked. Maybe have this pinked. And if you're taking Baron, you know, ward here. Ward here. Um, maybe ward this. You don't really need to, but like ward there. Just because uh, this ward here for the sake of getting Baron is better than warding here and here, because you know it's just one ward, you're not using this ward to gain control of anything in their jungle, you're using this ward defensively to gain you control of Baron. So ward this, ward these two brushes, and then sweep this general area, always check this brush for a pink, and take Baron. Um, I think that's wraps it up, I wonder how long we're going. So yeah, it's about the same length as the blue side video, I don't think I covered as much stuff because it is pretty much the same thing. But, you know, hopefully you got something of this. Like always, if you like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel, like my Facebook page, it'll be in the description. Thumbs up the video, thumbs down the video. Leave me suggestions of videos you might want me to cover, or you, um, things you liked about the video, things you didn't like. I'll be posting more videos pretty much every day, or multiple videos a day. So, you know, subscribe, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.